Okay, this is 418 2015. We are looking at a 10GS15 pump. Uh, there's the serial number on the pump. You can see there. I don't know where the serial number is on the motor is, but this is the motor that was returned to me um, by um, Lockwell. So we're going to take a quick look at this. I'm contending that there's excessive radial play. So in this video, I am going to show the annular. Uh, gaps that exist between the shafts and the bearing. Okay, so I'm going to turn this over to somebody to help me. Okay, first the motor. Okay, hold that right there. Okay, so you can see when I take this and wiggle this with my hands, can you see the gaps right here? Tip of my fingernail. Yeah, get in there real close. Okay, watch. Up and down and up and down and up and down. And you can see I'm not touching the seal. Up and down, side to side, round and round. Here, get on the top there. Yeah. Okay, up and down, around, around. Okay, now I'm going to pull the ceiling collar, and you can see the amount of wear that's happened there, especially right here. And again, let's go up and down and side to side. Now, if you look on the end, come around around here. Yeah, you're going to have to have it right there. Yeah, yeah right here. Okay. Yeah, you see that you want to get a nice clean picture. Okay, now I'm going to take my finger, and I'm just going to move this around. Can you see all that? annular gap there. Look at that. That is not a normal bearing situation. Back and forth, up and down. I'm just taking this with my finger. That is excessive clearance. That's what I'm saying. Excessive. In fact, now I'm going to try to turn the shaft. Turn the shaft somewhat easily. <sighs> kind of gets bound up. Put it right here. Turn in the shaft. Now when I pull it to one side or the other, it turns very hard. In fact, right there, I can't turn it at all. I'm pushing hard. If you want to see, you can see the things on my fingers. If you want me to, I will use a torque wrench and I'll measure the torque, but this is why it won't start in the hole. Pushing to the side, I cannot turn it because the armature is rubbing against the field coils. Now, I, the other side, it kind of turns. On this side, it doesn't. So what I'm contending is the bearing is worn out. Look at that. This thing is fried. Okay, now let's go to the pump. You have to hold it here. Okay, here's the end play on the pump shaft. Go to the top there. Gonna, oh, okay. I think I'm realizing that this has to... There you go. You see that? Back and forth. That does not appear to me to be normal bearing play in the stack, but that may be true. Now let's go to the end view and you can again see the excessive radial play. You got to get in front of that thing. Look at it. It this throws me this throws me off. Well, there now it'll be. Okay. Easy. Okay. Now again, look at this. Back and forth, up and down. This thing is fried as well. The bearing in here is fried. It's got so much play on the side. I can't even turn it. Ah, it's stuck. It hang hung. On this side, it kind of moves. On this one, it, now it kind of moves kind of moves, but you can see that this thing is just completely worn out. Okay, this thing is just moving around like crazy. So I think that that one has got a problem as well. I don't know what the spec is, but you can see it. Look at it wiggle side to side. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. you getting that? All right. So I hope this answers the uh, points that I brought up in the discussion uh, on uh, Friday. And so uh, let's talk as soon as you've had a chance to review this video in more detail. Thank you.